Okay, so I'm gonna do another little uh, beach video today. Um, so this uh, this beach is called Vanderbilt Beach. Uh, from where I turned in, there's a, a sign. It's a little confusing because online, uh, when I was looking, it's uh, Bluebill Beach. So this is on Bluebill Drive. Um, and then there's Connor Park here, which is a little park on this side of the kind of the riverway that goes through here that you cross over to get to the peninsula with the beach. Um, so anyway, there's Connor Park and then down here also is a state park. It's Delnor Wiggins State Park, which unfortunately is actually closed up. So you can't go in there and park and the whole beach is closed down because of the hurricane. So it got battered pretty well down here. Um, but anyway, you can still access the beach. So I'm gonna go uh, walk the beach and see what nature has to offer and uh, what random things will arise to film and be of interest so anyway I look forward to it and it's a beautiful day so I'm gonna get out there and I'll update as we go along alrighty so it's very nice out here just a long peninsula um, it's lined with homes condos on one side and it's a nice long beach it's not too crowded but i've been uh watching the seabirds and there's some cool like fish life here a lot of uh snook from what i understand uh it's a predator fish eating a lot of the little smaller school fish so I'm trying to get some footage of that and kind of share kind of the ecology of how they live and then uh, there's some jacks here as well they're traveling schools and feed on the feeder fish along the shore too so it's uh pretty neat here so anyway i'm gonna try to get some uh, cool footage and uh i'll show you the uh beach looking south So it's a nice long beach. You can see all the structures along, along the beach here. So this is looking south and I just wanted to share some of these homes along the beach. They're working on a lot of them because they were damaged during the hurricane, but they're big big homes, lots of palms. It's nice. Okay, these are the uh, the snook uh, that I'll see in here. So they're swimming around along the shoreline and uh, then there's some little feeder fish. So they kind of just cruise up and down uh, the beach line here. And uh, it seems like they have it pretty good. They can snatch fish uh, here and there uh, as they wish almost, it seems. There's uh, quite a bit of feeder fish. And here you can see the little uh, little fish that kind of stay up close to the shoreline. Um, there's kind of, I think they're one type of little fish. They like to hang right, right at the edge of the beach. Um, they just kind of cruise around in there and the snook will kind of come in closer to those guys. And uh, you can see them just cruising around out here. So then there's other groups of like more concentrated schools of feeder fish. They're a little further out from the ones right along the beach line. Um, and it seems like those are maybe more the ones that 
the snook kind of come in. But you could see they could probably grab one pretty easy. Um, but they just kind of cruise around and watch them. And uh, on occasion, they, they dart in at them. Mind if I film him? Sure. You'll be a YouTube uh, YouTube fishing star. <laughs> oh, look at that. Little little guy. Yeah. So they gotta be 28, 28. inches yep, to keep to them. 33. But yeah, they got a big mouth on them to yeah, suck those fish in. Yeah, like could they eat? They can eat a fish. You know, very, very big. Yeah. Well, now he's a little smarter. Ha, that's true. <laughs> now I'm a little dumber because now I gotta get my bait. Right? Yeah, you didn't bring it with you. Uh, I just was gonna check it out. Boy, there. I'm coming back. Well, cool. Well, uh, thanks for sharing that. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, that was an awesome experience. Uh, to see that guy catch uh, the snook, so we get to see what it looks like. The snook looks like uh, pretty cool looking fish. Um, but anyway, I noticed there's these other schools, and I think uh, these are the jack. They're like uh, bigger schools, and you can see some feeder fish flashing around in there as I think they're kind of hunting them and eating a few here and there. But um, yeah, the jack are. Um, kind of much larger schools they don't seem to be as solitary as the snook um, so anyway they're kind of cool to watch too I think there was a snook, snook just there but um, yeah I think these are the big schools of jack and you can see the big dark dark area of them cruising along Wow, that was just a massive jack attack. Holy cow, look at that. They just went bonkers and like totally a collaborated hunt pushing the fish to the shore. I mean, there's fish that just went crazy and they're on the shore now. And uh, the egrets are having an easy time picking them off. Wow, that was explosive. That scared the hell out of me. Didn't see that coming. Okay, we gotta watch this half speed right here. So you can see the dark areas, all the little uh, feeder fish got pressed up against the beach. Anyway, you could slow it down even more. It's, uh, it was pretty impressive. They actually splashed me and got me wet. That's how violent it was. It went right past me. Need to work on my tan a little more. I got stripes on my feet. Alrighty, a little uh, cloud in front of the sun. So anyway, I just want to say I feel super fortunate to be able to do this very leisure traveling that I'm doing. I sometimes I just kind of laugh out loud that I just can be a part-time beach bum and cruise around and work on my tan. So anyway, it's, uh, it's super beautiful out here today.
Hey bird, catching some rays? Aren't you pretty? Wow, that's the life. Enjoy. Just me and the bird. So I just passed a fella and uh, so I asked him, because uh, he came from down the direction I'm walking toward and uh, he said he walks us every day, I guess it's four miles, um, both ways. So eight miles altogether. Um, Cause he said I had a couple more miles from where I'm at, so. And he said I was at the halfway point, so we're doing a four mile walk and he said uh, down at the end, it's a clam pass or something like that. So anyway, that's where I'm headed. And I'll just walk the whole, whole thing. So it's a four mile beach walk today, which uh, I have no complaints about that at all. Get a little exercise in. A little nice slow tan and then uh, hopefully they got some some water down here a little store um, once I get to the end uh, I tend to just go for it I'm a pretty sturdy fellow so I tend to rely on that quite a bit and just go for it just going for it Okay, looks like the uh, pelicans are on the prowl again, so I'm just going to take a little moment to watch these guys. Because I've really grown to like pelicans. They're, they're a pretty awesome creature. They fly around and they'll go low and uh, when they take off from the water and then uh, get some elevation and when they're feeding, it's, they're on it. They're up, up and down constantly, just dive bombing on these fish. Awesome. I don't know, that never gets old. All right, well, I made it to uh, Clam Pass. So, a lot of uh, birds hanging out here on the shoreline. Kind of walked around them to not disturb them, but um, I think they like the fresher water to take a bath in. So they kind of congregate around here, which is pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, it was a, quite a long walk down here. Um, so I'm going to hang out and then uh, mosey on back. But anyway, it's nice down here. Doing a little hurricane damage work on this structure here. And then there's a cool osprey nest set up right there. And uh, that osprey just flew in with a fish. So that was cool to watch. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice day out. Ocean's looking great. Got to film the pelicans a little bit feeding, and that, like I said, that never gets old. Watching those guys dive in and catch fish. But, yeah, it's beautiful today.
Alexander Adventures On.